Hi, this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel, Suds and Bees. Uh, today we're going to be making shower fizzies. Shower fizzies are similar to bath bombs, except they have a higher concentration of essential oils, so they provide a nice aromatherapy during your shower. Um, the shower fizzies that we're going to be making today, uh, one is uh, menthol, eucalyptus, and peppermint. Uh, this shower fizzy is really nice for when you have clogged sinuses or you're dealing with a cold. It'll help clear up your sinuses. We will also be making a relaxing shower fizzy. Uh, this shower fizzy it has a lavender and orange essential oil. Please note that uh, shower fizzies are not not all shower fizzies are suitable for children. Uh, for example, this uh, shower fizzy with the menthol and eucalyptus peppermint um, is way too strong and not recommended for use for children 12 and under. So come on, let's go, let's go make some shower fizzies. For today's shower steamers, we are going to be using uh, baking soda, citric acid. The reason we're adding baking soda and citric acid to our formula is because when they come into contact with liquid, they start to uh, fizz. So this will assist us uh, for the fizzing and for the aromatherapy uh, to rise up to your nose. Uh, to that, we will also be using cornstarch. Cornstarch will allow for our bath fizzies to become um, harder and they last longer in the shower. And to the shower fizzies, I will be adding uh, polysorbate 80. Uh, this will emulsify all the oils that we're adding into the tablet and avoid any type of accidents in the tub. We don't want anyone slipping in the tub. So this will help uh, emulsify everything. We will be making two types of bath fizzies today. One will be with uh, menthol crystals. So menthol crystals, I will heat up some um, sunflower oil and uh, melt these in the heated oil. So this will allow for your sinuses to clear up. So this is great for when you're struggling with the flu. To the menthol crystal tablets, we will add eucalyptus essential oil. Eucalyptus will also allow for your sinuses to clear up and, um, and just breathe better. Um, and to this, we will add some peppermint essential oils. Peppermint um, not only helps clear up your sinuses as well, but it takes away um, headaches that you may be encountering uh, when you have the flu. Um, even if you don't have the flu, you can make uh, these tablets uh, just with these two oils, you don't have to use the menthol, and this um, helps you uh, wake up in the morning uh, so you feel more refreshed. But for today's uh, formula, uh, we will be adding the, the menthol. To the menthol eucalyptus peppermint tabs, um, I will be adding laurel green uh, mica by Nurture Soap. Um, and this is just for aesthetics, so it'll be nice and green. Uh, it reminds me of menthol. The second tablet that we're going to make today is going to be a soothing um, tablet that's great for nighttime or for daytime if you're um, dealing with some stress. Uh, we also will be adding the same ingredients, um, the same dry ingredients, which is the baking soda, citric acid, and cornstarch. But to that tablet, we will be adding lavender 4042, and to that we will be we will be adding tangerine fivefold. Tangerine fivefold um, is also an essential oil that um, will last longer in your product. So these are great for the shower fizzies or soaps, um, and this will feel make you feel more refreshed in the morning. For the lavender orange um, tablets, I will be adding um, Iris Purple by Nurture Soap. Um, it has nice soft purple that will match the lavender scent. And these are all vegan and cruelty free.
Okay, now that the shower fizzies have dried over 24 hours, uh, you can now store them in an airtight container, like we have one here. You can also use um, saran wrap, like I use to, to store mine, or you can use a shrink wrap bag. Um, any of these will work fine. Uh, you do want to uh, keep them airtight because the essential oils will fade if you don't, if you just leave them out in the open. So what I will do, because these are from my shower, um, I will just put them in a nice airtight container and leave it in my bathroom for us to just grab and use. I also, when putting them in a container, I almost forgot, when putting them in a container, I also like to use a freshness packet just um, to keep the moisture out, just to protect them as much as possible.